Hey boys, it's Zagosa. Welcome back to another Hashtag Game Film Friday. We're coming back at you today talking a little bit more about the clock and going to kind of go over some stuff about finding that proper positioning in those final circles to help you close out a couple games. If you guys enjoy this content, make sure to leave a Hashtag Game Film Friday in the comment below because I promise you all this is going to help you all win more games. Let's get into it, boys. Always thirst because you don't want to be able to call your position out. Maybe the last ones I'm going to get to. This one there. No, not like this, not like this game, not like this. Oh, he's hurt. I'm in the head. Okay, guys, we're going to start off today and talk about this final circle. I brought you guys an overhead image to give you an idea of what the locations of the body are. I'm going to be the yellow marker. The first team we fight will be the red marker, and the final team we fight will be the blue marker. Right when you go into this video, I am killing the guy that is this top red marker here, and the blue team has just finished off a guy in this green building. Okay, boys, let's get into this video. We're going to talk about it. The first guy we're coming up here right now, we're going to see an easy knock on this first guy pushing into this circle. All right, boys, right there's the first knock. We now know that Blue's killed this team and we've killed this guy. Blue is eventually going to make this push over. I make the initial push left, and right here was my first mistake. Let's get into it. Okay, boys, we just got that first knock. We now know this other guy's right here on the top side of the circle. During this engagement, this player makes a great move to secure him a spot inside the circle right here. You're going to see, I peek out here, I get no time. I'm going to take this opportunity to thirst his teammate, and here's why. Always thirst because you don't want to be able to call your position out. Boom. I see this second player at the rock. Here's the problem I made. Look where I came. I came left, boys. Putting myself now in between player one and the other two guys that are on top of the hill. So now is where we're going to get real tricky with it. I'm going to explain to you guys how you can prevent making these mistakes and how you can win more games. So here's what we're going to talk about. I make this move left like we talked about, putting me in between blue and red. The biggest mistake I made here was then I have no cover to if I'm fighting either of these guys, one of them can always see me. So here's the play. I want you guys to start forcing back in on these edges and you're going to see me swing back right and continually force this player to push his body more and more into the center of the map. You guys watch this right here, okay? So notice this, I've now worked all the way around on this gentleman. I have him on the west side of the tree, which he's completely now exposed to the south, to this other team, and watch me force him to take this fight in an easy one-on-one -on -one situation. All right, boys, so here it is. We make this move around to the right, continuing to force him left. He makes this move left, and once he does this, he's dead. He's now stuck behind a tree here, I have full cover due to a rock that it keeps me coverage from the blue team, which has now moved in to take position on this side of the road, and one of them is now taking position here. This guy has to peek and take this gunfight, which leads to a, leads to that next elimination. Now we're going to talk about closing this circle in on the last two guys. Okay, boys, at this point now it's a two-on-one, and we're going to do this on a breaking that clock down situation. Super simple here. We're going to take the initial aggressive move here. We're going to get a good shot here and knock this initial guy, which is going to down him. At this point, you're going to see a lot of movement of me trying to force my way over into the circle. 
This guy here in front of me takes a couple bad shots, misses some couple shots he probably shouldn't have missed. But we're going to get lucky here. We're going to get repositioned here and then get ourselves in a one on one gunfight. We're going to be able to finish out this match. Y'all enjoy. I'm going to too. Right there, boys. We spot this first initial guy out at the tree. Again, working that clot, making sure we're clearing all structures the farther and farther we go in. This right there. We get our first initial knock. Super simple. Now, like I talked about, we're going to wrap around that circle and try to work our way in, keeping ourselves edged out to this guy as best we can. There he is right there. No, not like this, not like this game, not like this. Oh, he's hurt. I'm in the head. Get out of here, brother. Get out of here, brother. All right, boys, and that was it. Simple move there that I really think you guys can really, really increase your win percentages by making sure you're thinking about this. I see so many people that have great games. They get to that final circle. They either push the center real early. They get exposed to two guys coming from both directions, or they don't position themselves appropriately to where they make that other team have to fight both of you at the same time. Again, guys, if you guys enjoyed this content and you want more of it, make sure to throw in a hashtag Game Film Friday in the comments below. We'll be back at y'all next week for another one. As always, boys, stay gaming. Peace!